So you might be trying to hide Snapchat notifications on your lock screen or just all throughout your phone on your Android device. Now doing this is actually very, very easy. The first thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings of your Android phone. Whether you have a Samsung, Google Pixel, it's the same thing. So make your way over to your settings panel and you want to find your notifications panel or your notifications option within the settings applications. You can see right here I have notifications. All you want to do is go and click on notifications and you'll pretty much come into this panel. Now the next thing you want to do, which is very important, is find the option where you can basically see all the applications. So you can see right here we have more applications down here, and we have the ability of seeing all different applications that we have. So as you can see, it shows us most recent. I don't want to see most recent. I want to see all. So make sure you can see all your notifications come up. And what you want to do here is you want to scroll over until you find Snapchat. Now if you're using Snapchat and you've got notifications already, you should be able to see it within here. So go and click into it, and you'll come into this panel. Now here is where you can go and kind of configure what you want. So if you want to disable all the notifications, you might just want to go and click on disable this and it's going to disable all the notifications that you're getting throughout your whole entire device. Now if you just want to disable here and there, you can also deliver quietly. So you can, you know, not allow sound and vibration. You can disable the app icon notifications as well. But if you click on notification categories, you can kind of see we can go and kind of, you know, mess around with it a little bit more. So we can disable audible notifications, sound notifications, all notifications. Down here though, we can also disable snaps and chats, quiet notifications, and all notifications within messaging as well. So Snapchat works pretty well with Android now, I will say, and you can go and kind of configure those notifications however you want to. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.